Hello, today I will be talking about hemostasis. Remember when you were younger and you were learning how to ride a bike, but you fall and scrape your knee pretty badly. It starts bleeding, but after a few minutes it stops. This process is called hemostasis. Hemostasis refers to the stoppage of bleeding, which is important when blood vessels are damaged. There are three mechanisms that help achieve this process. The first one is called vascular spasm. It's stimulated by cutting or breaking a small blood vessel. Smooth muscle in blood vessels contract rapidly. Slows blood loss very quickly and ends of vessels may close completely. It's triggered by stimulation of the blood vessel wall. Pain receptor reflexes. Responses last a few minutes, but effects continue for 30 minutes. This allows time for a platelet blood to form and blood to coagulate. The second one is called the platelet plug formation. It's triggered by exposure of platelets to collagen. Platelets adhere to rough surface to form a plug. So let's say this is your blood vessel and inside your blood vessel you have these platelets. They are in their inactive form. But when you cut yourself the blood comes out and so does the platelets and they bind to collagen and that's when they become active and their shape changes forming a plug and this is a site for coagulation lastly is blood coagulation It is the most effective hemostatic mechanism. It occurs within 5 to 15 minutes. It forms blood clots in a series of reactions in which each step activates the next one. This is called a cascade, initiated by two different methods, eccentric or incentric clotting mechanism. Many chemicals used in coagulation are called clotting factors. Vitamin K is necessary for functioning of some of the clotting factors. Coagulation depends on a balance between procoagulants and anticoagulants. Major events is conversion of soluble fibrogen to insoluble threads of fibrin which traps the blood cells. And that is how hemostasis takes place in your body. Thanks for watching.